Hello everybody, welcome to Just One Perspective. My name is Josh, thanks for joining today. Today's drink of choice is this Glenmorangie 18 year. I was gifted, uh, it was gifted to me by a friend. Thank you so much, cheers to you. It is so good, it's one of my favorite whiskeys of all time. I'm gonna have to hide the bottle for myself because uh, otherwise I'll just demolish it because it's so tasty, it's so delicious. So today what I'm gonna talk to you about is how to estimate software development like a boss. Now when I say that, I'm not gonna give you a lot of details and a lot of specific techniques on how to estimate your software development. I'm gonna tell you how to better communicate your estimation to your boss using the language that they speak and the things that they understand, okay? Uh, some of this is gonna be homework for you because I don't know your situation specifically. These are just some general tips and guidelines on how to estimate software development in a way that your boss will understand, okay? So number one, know who you're estimating for. Maybe it's not your boss, okay? And today, uh, I think it's, last time I said she, so today your boss is a he, okay? So is it, are you estimating for your boss? Is it him? Is he your audience? Uh, is it your customer? Or are you estimating for your team? Does your team do estimations together, okay? Or maybe there's a, a combination of these. This is kind of, knowing your audience. Who is gonna be the final recipient of your estimation? Because you're gonna to wanna to tailor it to them, to that person, right? Your boss, your customer, whoever it is, okay? So make sure you have the audience in mind. All right, number two, you need to know why they want an estimate, okay? Do they want to know the estimate because uh, they're just trying to get a sense of when the project will be complete or the feature will be complete? Does your boss want to know, uh, is he keeping an eye out for other team or project dependencies? Is he looking out for downstream impacts and trying to understand what your work is and how it fits into the bigger picture, okay? That might be something that he's interested in. Maybe your boss just wants an estimate because his boss wants an estimate. That removes you a little bit from the overall why, but it's still good to know because it will still help you understand the reasoning behind it and why you're providing an estimate. And here's the, another one that you wanna be thinking about, okay? Maybe your boss wants you to provide an estimate because they're concerned about your performance. They're concerned about your ability to estimate. They're concerned about your ability to meet commitments and to make, uh, make estimations and then meet the commitments to those estimations, okay? This is one that you really wanna consider. There might be other things at play here than just trying to figure out a project or a timeline, okay? Maybe it's about you. And so keep that in mind when you're making an estimate and it might be okay for you to just even ask your boss if they have any concerns, if he has any concerns, okay? Uh, number three, understand how you are expected to, un to estimate, all right? Are you estimating in hours of work? Are you using story points in an agile fashion? What do the story points mean? Make sure you understand what they mean. Some teams use them for timing. Some teams use them for complexity. How many different disparate areas do, does your code touch? And how, uh, what's the, what level of complexity is there such that a calamity might occur if something goes wrong, okay? So make sure that you know the uh, estimation values that you're working with. Understand how you're expected to estimate, all right? Um, oh, also, are you including things like testing? Is that just unit testing? Are you including documentation? Are you including anything that requires uh, other teammates or other teams in general? Or is it literally just what is uh, the amount of time or uh, effort that it will take for you to complete your part. Make sure you wouldn't understand all of that, okay? Now when you've got all of this, you're gonna pull it all together and you're going to assess the work to the best of your ability, right? Knowing all these things that you know. You're gonna assess the work to the best of your ability. You're gonna consider dependencies, right? You're gonna consider integrations, environmental constraints. You also need to be honest with yourself. What is your level of uh, capability? What is your ability level at? And does that have an impact on the amount of time it's gonna take? Are there things that you expect that you're gonna to need to learn to get up to speed in order to complete this body of work? 
okay? And this is where it's more art than science, and your boss should know this. Your boss probably does know this. Your boss is not looking for perfection here. It's an estimate, okay? So when you, or I should say if you, I'm not gonna assume that you've done this, but if you are asked to make an estimation and you start hemming and hawing about how complex it is and how difficult it is to estimate and how much you hate estimating, stop. Just stop it. That is the number one thing your boss hates to hear. Your boss wants you to go through these things, and I haven't even gotten to number five yet. Your, your boss wants you to go through these things, understand the audience. If you're complaining about having to estimate, you've already lost your audience. Boom. Number one, failure, okay? So don't do that. Work your way up to number four. Understand that your boss knows this isn't gonna be perfect. And then number five is make your reasoning clear. Why did you make this estimate the way that you did? You know, share any assumptions you made, clarify any known risks, and deliver your estimation as soon as you have it to the intended audience, right? If it's your boss, if it's your team, if it's the, the project manager, whoever it is, make sure that they get it. Make sure they get it in a good amount of time and make sure they understand all the risks associated with it. All right, if you're feeling like you're being asked for perfection, from your boss. If your boss doesn't fully understand why we do estimates in the first place, you might need to do some education and help him understand your reasoning for the estimate and what could go wrong from your point of view, from your perspective, from your understanding, and that your understanding is limited. Make sure he knows that, right? This is a, this is a, 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 a collaborative effort. This is communication. That's why I think developers struggle with this so much is not because you can't get the numbers perfect, it's because you're working with imperfect numbers, okay? You're working with imperfect constraints, deadlines, timelines, which is the world that your boss lives in, and you need to understand that. Your boss is trying to take all of the intangible things and then make them tangible, and part of that is your estimation that helps him do that. So this is a key component to it, okay? This is not expected to be perfect. So go out there and do some awesome estimations and make your boss happy. I know you can do it. Thank you so much for listening. That's all I have today. Stay vigilant out there, and I'll see you next time. Thanks all. One more, one more sip. Perfect timing. Noise ordinance, Jarvis. Bye all.